Hey, 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 everybody. How are you guys all doing? Today is Monday, the 29th of March, 2021. And here we are with another what sold over the weekend. So I have a total of, what do I have here? 16 items sold. Um, there are um, 17 total because I have one sale on Bonanza. So I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 14 items sold. Sorry. Total of 14 items sold. Um, the number at the top says 12 because I have a couple of combined orders. So for some reason, I had 16 in my head. So total of I'm not, let's, let's talk about the Bonanza sale first and we can get that out of the way and then we can do finances. Oh, 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 wait a darn toot in second. If this is your first time here, my name is Noelle. I go by Farm Girl Scavenger on Instagram, Facebook for Business, and the Tube of You. So if, if, uh, if you are interested, go back and watch some of my other videos. There's some comical ones. There's a video going around. There's a challenge going on right now between a bunch of us resellers, YouTubers. There's links. I was going to say there's links down in my description, but I'm trying to get this out harder. I will put a couple of links to the to the challenge, and I have items right here. So I have had a video came out last night, and another one last Wednesday on that. So anyway. Um, and then every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, I go live um, for a reseller coffee talk or just whatever we want to talk about. So that's that. All right. So my first sale was on Bonanza. It's Christmas. It's Christmas in March. A little spoon rest. Had this guy for a long time. As a matter of fact, probably two years. Uh, ceramic spoon rest. Christmas tree with a star on top, um, nine inches by four inches, unbranded, sold for $12.86 plus uh, six fourteen shipping and then uh, taxes. So for a total all in for of $20.92 on this little guy. And here's what a bonanza sheet would look like my printout. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I didn't have this, guys. Hopefully, I didn't show anything. I'll we'll have to look at that. Anyway, that's that for Bonanza, so I don't have that figured into my eBay sales. So, let's hit eBay up. I had 14 sales on eBay for a total gross, let's just do this, of my taxes collected were seven dollars and thirty-five cent or seventeen dollars and thirty-five cents. I'm reading this backwards, guys. The uh, total amount for selling costs was sixty-five dollars and ninety-one cents. That would be right there. And then my total gross sales were my total net sales after all of that was $378.60. My cost of goods were, did I write that, write that down there? Right here. $4.73. So after I take all of that out, my net for me, after everything's taken out, before I pay Uncle Sam, was $373.87 out of these 14 items. Now, my gross average sale price on the 461.86 is $32.99. My net average sale price after everything's done was $26.71 this weekend. It was a slow weekend. I think everybody was having a slow weekend. I think uh, Kevin Commonwealth Picker said he, didn't, he hasn't, hasn't gone a day and he doesn't know how long without a sale and he had one whole day with no sales. There you have it. Anyway, 
I had sales every day, but these are these are mostly bread and butters. I have two that are going to international for quite a bit because they're heavy. Um, or one of them's heavy anyway. Oops, sorry about that. Shaky, shaky. But anyway, so let's get into it. I am not going to take this out of the wrapper it's in, so I will... Let's see, should we do that? Or should we do that? We'll do this. Oh, I, I would rather slide a picture in over here. Let's do this. All right. So I will slide a picture of this in, but I got this free. At, if you've been following me long enough, you know I got a bunch of free stuff on a last day of an estate sale. They said everything was free. So I got this free from the fishing estate sale. There's going to be more stuff in here from that. This is a men's Eddie Bauer flannel lined shirt jacket, khaki medium, 100% cotton, and I put fishing in there as a keyword. $32.50 is what they paid for it, full price. They are $43.03 in. I believe this is gonna fit in a padded flat rate. If it fits in this plastic bag, I know I can put it in a padded flat rate, so that'll go out of that. The second thing I sold also came from the fishing estate sale. I paid for this. I can't remember a dollar or something like that it did make an Instagram post this may have been free I got some books I'm just having a hard time remembering today um, so this is going to Italy this is making um, making strip built fly rods from various woods on a lathe by John Bells 2007 it sold for $52.49. They are $90.49 all in for shipping on this. Like I said, it's going to Italy. It weighs almost three pounds. It won't cost that much, and I, I probably will refund them some because I don't... Now, normally I do a flat rate on my shipping, but that's uh, medium mail. There is no calculated medium mail that I do. I don't have the time to do it. I do have a lot of books, so I do calculated for media mail. So that went at a calculated rate. Um, there's some things I'm just not willing to put the time into, and that's a lot of work. So that's, that's unfortunately, they got charged quite a bit, but they wanted it. So that doesn't mean that I won't go back and refund them some, because it's not going to cost that much to send. It's not going to cost, uh, what did I figure it out to be? almost 40 bucks 38 bucks it's not going to cost 38 bucks to send that over there anyway last time i checked the next thing is a set of vintage our united states heritage soft cover book with original mailer here's the original mailer this is the book and it is um, also got, oh, this is actually the original mailer that came, this is an order form with, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so it just talks about the presidents, the Statue of Liberty. This is the stuff that they make you know when you go for residency, all that stuff. President, Statue of Liberty, History of the Stars and Stripes, Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, the Constitution, Monroe Doctrine, Getty, Gettysburg's Address. So this is really cool. This is the second one of these that I've sold, and it has um, some significant history on it, and then it's also got a couple of stamps on it. Who knows what they bought it for? I mean, they could have bought it for the stamps. They could have bought it for to use. Who knows what? Anyway. Um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, that sold for $16.49. They are $20.93 all in on that. The next thing that sold is this vintage Light Bright. Um, Hasbro, 1984 Hasbro Glow Baby. I said Light Bright. Light up my life. Light up Glow Worm Doll Vinyl Plush 12 inches. Now, she has some markings here. I couldn't get those off. I um, soaked her in OxyClean. I soaked her clothes in OxyClean, not her. I cleaned her by hand. I cleaned her face by hand. I, I documented all of that. I have a picture of her all lit up. And so that's, that's where that is. 
She sold for $15. They are $23.43 all in. The next thing I or I sold was a combined uh, shipping. Uh, these were all being watched. I sent offers for $8. Anyway, $8 times 3, that's $24. She is $34.41 all in with shipping. I will more than likely, I don't know why she didn't put them all together and combine them or, or wait. I mean, I could, she bought them, ding, ding, ding. I couldn't even get in there to stop her before she paid <laughs> to send her a invoice. So I'll be refunding her a little bit of shipping on that because these will all go media mail. And you guys do remember nothing with advertisements in it can go media mail so if it's a magazine a comic book and when i say comic books listen to me the graphic novels the comic book graphic novels like these don't have don't have commercial uh, advertisements in it. these can go media mail regular comic books can't Magazines cannot go. Okay? They have advertisements in it. So anything that you guys are selling that, that's media that has advertisements in it, you may not use media mail for. Well, you may do it, but I wouldn't want to be you. You probably wouldn't want to be me either, so we're all good there. Okay. <laughs> the next thing that sold is two fly fishing rod cases. Um, and, and they both sold for, is that over here on the other page? Probably not. They both sold for, for this guy, this guy got his stuff combined. I don't know why the other gal didn't. I have combined shipping on my shipping. Um, they both sold for a total of $49.73 together. They are $78.89 all in with shipping. These were free to me. These are hard cases that you put your fly fishing rods in. Most of them are lined on the inside. Um, I did not have a brand on this one. However, there was a tag on it that said made in the USA. And then this one is LL Bean, same thing. Let's see, they have handles on them. These are nice for storing the, the fishing rods in. Anyway, these will go combined shipping. More than likely, they will just get, um, I don't know if they'll fit in a tube together. And when I talk about tubes, I'm talking about these. Um, so, they may very well, of course, I would have to use two. So, I was going to say, if they don't fit in here, then I will probably just, no, they are not, oh. Nah, they're not going to fit in there. I'll just um, wrap them in a poly bag and send them out that way. Because they're already hard. So that's how they're going to go. Um, and then the next thing that sold is this. Peanuts. I hate to say goodbye, but it's time for you to go. It's Lennox. Um, Peanuts, Lennox, Snoopy's, Snoopy for the holidays, Snoopy's candy jar, a Charlie Brown Woodstock. I got this at the bins a couple of summers ago, summer before last, when Hugo and Tiff, sell quick, ship quick, came up and did some sourcing with the, some friends of theirs, and then we met them at the bins in Vancouver. And they actually, their friend, I can't think of their name right now. Um, there, they actually found it and they were running comps on it and they weren't seeing any good comps on it. And I said, well, I'll buy it. I said that should sell for 40, 40 bucks or so. And I listed it and I put it in the store 
and it's gone on sale, gone off sale, gone on sale, gone off sale, gone on sale, gone off sale. Marked it up, marked it down. Just was waiting for the right person. Anyway, this cute little, it has its original box and styrofoam. I just took it out to show you guys. It's got wood, wood stock up here on top. That is going to Germany. So, anyway, they paid $34.50. They are $67.50 all in. It's a little over three pounds by the time it's, or a little over um, two pounds by the time it's all packed up. All right. The next thing that's going is this vintage 1971 Simplicity 9446 9 pattern. Junior misses, two length dresses, size 14. I got this for free. I got a bunch of these for free. Um, I sold this for $10. They're $16.43 all in. The lady was not very nice, actually. And she offered me like $5 for it. And I came back with, um, I think it was 13 or something like that. And and she came back, she goes, my offer for you, if you want me to buy this, is $10. I've seen this many other places for close to the same price with less shipping or something like that, blah, blah, blah. And I was just kind of like, sales are slow, it was free, I don't care. The reason why this one is more expensive is it's older and it's, it's the design on it. Anyway, I don't care. I sold it to her for 10 bucks because most people can't even get two or three dollars and I love I just love I just love the hair the hairstyles and the little choker necklace that stuff's back in again if, if you haven't been watching the girls um, the next one this was also free at the fishing estate brand new in the box never been used this is an ot light true colored task lamp great for arts crafts sewing reading blah 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 i sold this for 25.99 they are 44.31 all in on that the next thing that sold is this pair of converse little kids shoes um converse little kids chuck taylor all-star ox low top shop shoes optical white did I not put the size in the wow that's amazing um what size are they I have the box size one I even have the box so I sold these for $11.50 they are $24.15 all in with that these are going in a do these way one pound six ounces they fit in a legal flat rate that's how they're going but because of the box they probably won't anyway I paid a dollar for those and they sold for 11.50 they're 24.15 all in and the last thing that I sold is this Bath and Body Works signature collection beautiful day fine fragrance mist I got this in a bag at the bins for $3.99. There was probably 12 to 18 other items in there. There could have been more. I figure I paid right around 50 cents for it. So that's that. That concludes the what sold this weekend sale. So um, yeah, I'm going to post some pictures here, 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 here of the five auctions I have running for, for the um, the challenge that I'm in with 29 other resellers and it is being put on by B Courtney from Bolo Buddies and Sourcing for Bolo Buddies um, and I will I will put pictures of her channels in and then you guys can go find her because I'm not very good at doing the links and the cards but I, I may drop just depends on how much time I have um, anyway you can go to hashtag my auction 99 and you can watch everybody's videos but um the, i'll put the if i'll put a link to the description of my video that i put up last night and it has all the links to my items in it so i will do that in the description down below anyway 
and I'll put a little thing here so you can see what the thumbnail looks like. All right, so there you have it. Keeping this under 20 minutes. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow for Coffee Talk. Farm Girl Scavenger, out.